Thank you for coming this afternoon. Thank you for inviting us. In the covering letter for Vote Leave's application to the Electoral Commission to be the lead campaign group, Mm. uh, you said, we are committed to campaigning in a way that will create a legacy for the country's democratic processes and traditions. I wonder if you could explain how this squares with the plans which you expressed to the Telegraph uh, in November 2015 that you would target the annual meetings of companies that support <coughs> remaining in the EU. Well, there are the, it, it certainly depends what, what it is you're talking about. There has been uh, a, an exercise by the CBI, uh, a dreadful organisation which has consistently misrepresented business opinion to, uh, to, to, to try and use its weight with the BBC and to persuade people that most businesses are in favour of the EU and in favour of further integration. As you will have seen, um, the British Polling Council described their uh, last attempt at doing this as, quote, dodgy, unquote. Um, there are also all sorts of complicated re- uh, aspects of You'll how be aware various that businesses... You'll word that we don't use in Parliament. I know it's a word you don't use in Parliament. I'm saying I'm directly quoting what the British Polling Council described the CBI's methodology as, quote, dodgy, unquote. So that's not my term. That's the British Polling Council's description of how the CBI conducts itself. Um, these things need to, be, uh, need to be exposed. I witnessed exactly the same process on the Euro campaign in 1999 when they lied repeatedly about their membership then. They, they lied about how many members they had. They lied about how they were surveying them. They, they persistently lied about business opinion, and they've been doing the same thing on the EU. So you're telling us that the CBI is lying about the views of their members when they are presenting the uh, benefits of EU membership, which is felt by many large organisations. The CBI is so dishonest, it won't even tell you how many members it's got. That's the scale of its dishonesty. If you bring a CBI in here and say, how many members have you got, they won't tell you. Okay, Mr Cummings. They hide all of these numbers precisely in order that they can cheat their surveys. Mr Cummings, we won't get through my questions if you give such long, extended uh, descriptions of your view of the world. Sorry. Does... Um, I don't quite see how you square that with the fact that uh, over a third of FTSE companies wrote a letter saying that they support continued membership of the of the EU. So when you say FTSE, do you mean FTSE companies? Yes. Over a third of FTSE companies mm. have written a letter, a public letter, yeah. saying that they support EU membership. Now, yes. lots of those companies will be in the CBR. Mm-hmm. So the CBI wouldn't seem to be misrepresenting the views of their members if, quite separately, we see that a third of FTSE 100 companies are saying that it is in their interest to be in the EU. Well, rem- remember the CBI also laughably claims to be the voice of British business, not just the voice of the 100 biggest companies in the country. So it, it ought to be representing the views of non-FTSE companies as well. Of course, in fact, they're lying about that and they don't do that. But it doesn't tally with what, with, with, with what you're saying. Do it, you have the support the, of any FTSE 100 companies, Mr Cummings? Simon Wolfson recently came out and said that he thinks that the EU is a, is a bad idea. As an individual, are, but do you have any, any companies saying that they think it's a good idea? Generally speaking, the, uh, the people who are on our side tend to operate on a, on a personal basis for, for exactly the same reasons as I was just talking about regarding Goldman Sachs. So you don't the, have any FTSE 100 companies where the boards have agreed that they wish to make a public commitment to remaining in Europe, to, to leaving Europe? The board, no, the board stay out of it, the same way as they did on the Euro campaign. What happened after we went on the Euro? Then suddenly all these companies say, yeah, we agree, the Euro is a rubbish idea. So you think this is just a piece of games play? I know it is. I know it is because I meet these people all the time. Well, you're not, you don't have a monopoly on meetings with people from industry. 